Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, we'll be taking a look at the Jack Pacific movie figure for Gorldan. And of course, this is a World of Warcraft movie figure. And what's made this particularly hard, and if you've been following me, you know I've been looking for this figure. And again, I have to give a big shout out and thank you to Night Stalker who went ahead and sent this to me. Um, she knows I've been chasing this figure and they actually found this at a Ross store at a discount, which is absolutely insane because this figure is very hard to come by. The problem and these just recently went on sale at Toys R Us and at Toy Hall, which will probably be published after the point of this video. Um, it was like $4.99. So if you do need some of the first wave figures, you can get them on the cheap, but you're not going to find this figure at a Toys R Us, or at least I was able to have multiple Toys R Uses. And I did look into it a little bit further just recently about this is why is this figure so rare? Was it like, you know, was it one at 122? Was it one of a chaser? Like, what was the reason? I'm a cat sneezing. What was the reason that this figure was so difficult to find? And the reason why actually is this is one of the figures that came after the movie. When the movie originally came out, they released a lot of the major characters from the movie, and those are the ones you find at Toys R Us. And this particular character came out long, even though this is the like the main bad guy from the movie, this one came out after the fact, or the movie was already released. And so stores like Toys R Us that got their original allocations of toys, maybe they just didn't order it, or maybe they order only ordered a few of them or something. I don't know, but it's funny that the main bad guy they actually don't have in the store. So it's very tricky to find this. I have seen this on scalper prices on eBay before. I have seen this at Target Warehouse for like $25 or something plus shipping, plus tax, plus blah, 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 blah. Um, so it's very difficult to find this one. And I've been searching so hard for it. So I am so happy I actually finally got one. This is great. Um, and before I open this, one other, well, as I open this, I should mention that at the point of recording, the, the BlizzCon tickets go on sale this week, actually. So if you're into Blizzard properties, if you're into World of Warcraft, Starcraft, Overwatch, any of the Blizzard IPs, Hearthstone, I could go on and on, Battles of the Storm. Um, BlizzCon is happening, of course, in November. And and the tickets sell out very, very, very quickly. So it's the type of thing where you want to buy them like right away. I wanted to say the first wave go on sale Wednesday and then the second wave is on Saturday, okay? So if you're watching this video as it's just published, you have time, you can still get BlizzCon tickets, but if not, you're gonna have to resort to scalper prices, which is like double the retail price, okay? And BlizzCon is a lot of fun. I do have some videos from BlizzCon last year that if you look back in my queue, you can actually check out. But anyway, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. I guess before I uh, pull them out here, we should take a look at the back. And of course, here we have some brief information from GX Pacific. This, of course, is Goldan with 13 points of articulation, including staff. Okay, very cool. And let's see here, the magic-fueled mastermind behind the invasion of Azeroth. Gul'dan, okay, so basically he's a shaman, okay, so he's a, like an orc shaman bad guy, okay, and he wants to basically destroy the world as they know it, and so that is kind of the thing, and that is what has led the orcs that normally hate humans to actually team with the humans to try and take on the, this big bad guy, okay, and I'm not going to give away anything more of the movie. I like the movie, but again, I'm a World of Warcraft fan, so it's like I might be a little bit biased in it, you know, but I thought it was cool, and I hope they make some more World of Warcraft movies. Maybe they'll announce that at Blizzard this year that would be pretty cool um, if you do go to BlizzCon let me know uh, in the comments below here um, it's such a good time it's like my favorite con of the year I think um, lots of great memories lots of good times and it's really good value too I mean there was like a concert last year Weird Al was there they've had other bands like Metallica like big name bands so really really good time awesome con okay so take a look at Goldan here this guy is huge this is the biggest of all the Jack specific figures and they call this a six inch figure but this is actually a very big figure he's wider taller um, with all of his little deer horns or whatever than the other figures we'll go ahead and pull him out here he pulls out very easy there's no special um, like rubber bands or anything and we'll pull out his huge honking staff now I do like the way that the background here actually has kind of a World of Warcraft kind of looking background to the box so you can kind of put that back there and kind of pose them. Uh, first, we'll check out the staff here. The staff is done very nicely. Um, check out all the crazy little details here. Besides this being a little bit mobile, okay, it moves a little bit. Um, the rest of this is very sturdy. And we got some great little skull heads with like little piercing eyes. I don't know if the camera's catching that or not, but really piercing eyes coming out of it. And then like a little skull here on a rope. 
and this one's kind of like kind of beat up a little bit or faded out and a huge like crazy like goat head kind of thing to make it seem extra extra scary you know and just real nice has little bumps in the staff here so just a really nice piece um really cool they really spent a lot of time making this awesome and this could have been so plain but they didn't they actually spent the time the only thing that could be a little better about it is maybe if it had different paint like i see brown and black as the two colors here and they did so great on the skulls and having different colors i see white there i see kind of a greenish i see an orange paint like lots of fading and weathering and stuff but the actual staff itself probably could have had like a little bit more fading and weathering to kind of match the skulls you know but just such a great job though all the same just so so cool okay and looking at the big bad guy here um <laughs> people want to look up his skirt i hear so uh there you go you can check that out if you want um basically he is a shaman so he has this big kind of roby garb thing on and there's like note there's like little like skulls or kind of things kind of worked into it to make it extra creepy and scary he has a big crazy skull thing up here and some like little rib bones or something armor and uh, on the side another skull there's a little bit of articulation here they say it's 13 points but because of the clothing it's a little bit hard um the legs here do have a lot of articulation uh they've moved very freely as you can see uh the knees do bend but again with this robe thing on here there's not a whole lot of bending to be had you know the feet do move very nicely they are clickable a little bit you don't hear a click but when you move them you can physically feel a click which is good because the legs feel a little bit loose so that will help kind of keep them in an upright position the arms themselves do move very nicely. Um, again, the robe thing does limit a little bit of, the, of those 13 points of articulation, but you can pose them. You can move this in and out. You can move the hand a little bit. There's a lot of fun to be had with the posing this bad guy. Um, he does hold the staff very nicely. He has a nice little scoop to his arm there, so he can stick the staff in. It will stay very nicely snuggled in his hand here to create lots of evil magic or whatever he does. Um, the face is really cool. Like I like the way they painted his eyebrows white. Nice little beard action. Very pointy little uh, tusks there. So very cool. You can even see the little ring in his nose. Just really, really a wonderful piece. And I'd say like out of all the different pieces, this is probably the most important one. I mean, even the back here, check out like the, the paint is really nice. There's some weathering going on here. Like all through here, there's several different tones of paint. Just really, really nice. Little touches like around the horns here. There's like little tie offs and stuff. And even at the bottom, it's very like natural and shamany and grassy looking. So very, very cool. Cool. Now, I'm not sure if this guy's going to stand. He is a big, heavy figure. We'll go ahead and try this here and see if he'll stand for me. Uh, my, my surface here. Oh, check it out. He actually stands. All right. That is very good. All right. Thank you, World of Warcraft, for making a standing figure. And again, thank you tonight, Sucker, for uh, if you go back like one video on my key, you'll see a great box of treats she sent me and this amazing figure. So just huge thank you. And um, if you guys do want to send me anything, no pressure, but the address is in the description. You can feel free to send me something if you like. And um, just such a cool, cool figure. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions about World of Warcraft, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about BlizzCon, I'd be more than happy to answer questions about BlizzCon. And you can, again, you can go through my videos if you want to see some videos about what BlizzCon's all about. But it's just such a great con. It is such a good time, guys. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Be sure and check out Tux Reviews, my review channel. Be sure and check out this channel, Tux Toys, on Instagram and Twitter for slice of life photos you will not see anywhere else behind the scene photos lots of good times to be had and um be sure to check out my beta channel called gamer tux okay all right friends we'll talk to you soon okay bye bye